Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure MariaDB 11.8 on Windows operating system. I am going to install this on Windows 11 but the process is same on all Windows operating systems. Okay, first go to MariaDB's official website that is MariaDB.org. Then click on download or download, either is same. Then select the MariaDB server then select the version see here the latest release is 11.8.2 but at the time of installation you may not see this one but you will see the later version okay so select it then select the operating system windows architecture x86 64 bit then select the package type i am going to select msi pack then click on download see download started go to download see here its size is 76.8 megabytes wait until download completes See, download is completed. Now click on this MSI file to install. See, it is going to install MariaDB 11.8. Click on next. Read the end user license agreement and select the checkbox that is I accept terms in the license agreement and click on next. See, it is going to install all these components. Suppose if you don't want client programs, right click, click on it, then select the entire feature will be unavailable. I want to install all and see here this is the third party tools the database instance okay and this will be the location if you want to change location click on browse and select the path where you want to copy these files then click on next now we have to set the password for root account confirm the same this is the data directory location click on next and see here this is the service name in services application default code for MariaDB is 3306 and in ODB engine settings default buffer pool size is 1961G page size we have the default is 16 if you want to select you can select any one of them then click on next I am going with all defaults so click on next ready to install if you are ok with all the settings then click on install see installation has been started See installation is completed. Now click on finish. Now go to all applications. See here we have the MariaDB folder. Click on this drop down. See here this is the third party tool. This is the MariaDB client tool. Okay. Click on it. Provide the password of root account. See we have successfully connected to MariaDB. And this is the version 11.8.2. To verify the version again, run the command select version. See, we have installed MariaDB 11.8.2. Let us verify the databases show databases. See, these are the default databases that comes with MariaDB 11.8. Let us create a database. Create database now. Verify again show databases. See new database bank is created now switch to this database and create a table to switch to database we have to run the command use then provide the name of the database see before it was none now now it is changed to bank now verify the list of the tables show tables see you don't have any tables let us create a table create table Now verify again. See, we have created a table. Let us insert some data into this table. See, we have inserted these rows now. Verify the list of the users. Show users. This won't work. So we can get the list of the users by running the command select user from mysql dot user. See, these are the default users that comes with MariaDB installation. Okay, let us create user. Create user.
whatever is there in singular double quotes it is the password see we have successfully created again verify see new user david is created now exit from this currently logged in user and connect with the new user david so open maria db hyphen u new user name is david hyphen p then provide the password see whatever is there in single or double quotes is the password so provide the password see we have successfully logged in verify the currently logged in user select current underscore user see you have logged in with the user david now try to access the database that you have created use bank see access denied for user david to database bank because we have created user but we haven't granted any privileges that's why we have received this error so we must grant the privileges to access this database to this user okay now we will see how to connect mariadb from the mysql logbook and db bar you can also connect mariadb by using all applications then go to mariadb folder click on this id sql see these are the default ones because mariadb installed on this one so click on open see we got the same okay if you want to run query segment this one this bank database select the database then click on query see now we can run the queries select star from customer because we have created table click on this execute button see we got the output like you can create tables or databases if you right click create new then select database i am giving database name as test and this is the sql for the this create database command this create database click on okay see new database is created this is the one tool the other common tools are like mysql logbench and db bar i have already installed mysql logbench on windows operating systems i have already installed both mysql logbench and db bar on windows operating systems you can search for my youtube channel how to install both go to mysql logbench click on it click on this plus button maria db is installed on this one so just give the name for the connection maria db 8 11.8 then password click on store in vault then provide the password then click on okay click on test connection so see successfully made connection click on okay click on okay click on this maria db see we have successfully connected okay this is the one tool the other tool is db bar click on this plus button then select maria db click on next then you have to provide host name local host is fine because maria db installed on this one port number 2306 provide the database name username root provide the password of this root account click on text connection see successfully connected click on finish expand this connection expand databases see here we have these databases if you want to run queries right click sql editor then open sql console now we can run the queries select the text and click on execute see you got the output okay and and in workbench see here we have two options administration and schemas in administration we have the options like users and privileges see these are the default users if you want to create user you have to click on add account okay the last option that i'm going to show you is how to stop start and restart maria db 11.8 on windows operating systems go to services application that is windows run then search for services.msc then click on maria db see here we have the maria db right click if you want to stop select stop restart or on the see the status it is running and also see here the option stop and restart and also see here the button stop and restart okay So in this video we have seen how to download install and configure MariaDB 11.8 on Windows operating systems okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you